So I have a ticket hack for you guys today, but it's not just any ticket hack, it's the ultimate ticket hack. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Shres here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, make sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today we're talking all about a specific ticket hack that helps you break up a set of three tickets into a pair. Normally when you'd go on and try and buy some seats and they're a set of three and you only want two of them, you'd get this error saying, hey, you're not allowed to leave one seat open, you can't have a single seat remaining in the row. But there is a way around that and we're gonna talk about it right now. Now, you also need to stick around to the end, though, because there is a little update I do need to share with you, which kind of uh, changes the game, I would say. Let's begin. So, first off, as you guys know, when you're buying tickets, you usually want to buy them in pairs of two or four, and not necessarily in the ones and the threes and the other odd numbers. Yes, sometimes you do have two friends you want to go with, but most of the time, I think it's just, you know, just the one. Just the you, you and your best friend. It's possible you want the two seats beside it, but you don't want that single seat, but they won't let you check out. Let's 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 just dive into an example, shall we? So I'm gonna jump in over here, take a look at some seats in this section. That set of seats right there, I want those tickets. But I only want two of them, not three, just just two. So I click on it and I say, look at that, 206B, five and four. So I'm gonna hit add to cart and you get the error, the dreaded error. Your seat selection can't leave a single seat available within the row. This, this is the error that, this, I despise this error. This is the worst. I, I, I cannot handle it. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't care if there's a single seat left. You shouldn't have put the situation in here in the first place. Not my problem. So let's, uh, let's, 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 let's bypass this, shall we? So you have your phone, you have your device, and you, you have the event basically opened up, okay? But then you need your second device. So on the second device, go to the exact same event, and this time we're gonna, we're gonna, Tweak things just, just a little bit. And here we are, okay? So I'm gonna change my quantity to one, okay? This this is the magic now. So I wanted those seats in 206, row B, seats four and five. So I'm gonna go over here to row 206, row B, and I'm gonna click add to cart on 206, row B, seat three. Hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. And that's it, the magic is done. I'm going back on the other phone now. Let's refresh the page, shall we? Let's take a look, see, uh, see if this, this makes it think a little bit harder. So I come down here, I click add to cart. And what do you know? Magic, magic, wonderful, excellent. This, this is just, is just goal, okay? I have now turned this set of three seats into a pair of seats and a useless single seat. Now on the second device over here, all I gotta do is nothing, to be honest. I can just let it expire, so be it. So now I come back over here and I can go to the checkout page. It's gonna let me check out. It's gonna do all the great things. I now have this seat broken up into a pair and a single and I don't need no single. I'm taking that pair, all is well. I am the winner and that's that. So that's the hack. Very, very simple, very easy. Just takes a bit of time. I will say it doesn't work all the time though, because if there was an event where there's a lot of demand for or season seats that you're trying to get and you don't have a lot of time to kind of play around. But if you do have the time to go ahead, you know, get into the two devices, get a friend to help you, however you want to do it. This is how you break up a set of three, five, basically any odd number of seats. This is how you break it up. You basically have to have two accounts going at the same time. Someone takes the single and someone takes the pair. Now, I used to think that this was, you know, Genius, absolutely mind-boggling, a complete wonder of the world. No one had ever thought of this before. And then I was like, okay, well, on Ticketmaster in the past, it was the same idea. If you went in, you saw a set of three seats, but you actually only wanted two of them, this is what you had to do. But uh, it, it would appear that um, Ticketmaster, they, they, they have some other ideas now. So I think they're in the business of selling seats. And I think because of that, they've made a few tweaks. You guys might think I'm crazy, okay? I mean, and. And maybe I am, it's definitely, it's highly likely. However, however, I will say that in the past, this used to be a real thing, but Ticketmaster, I think, have learned from their ways. So for example, I see some seats on the floor, first row, I wanna sit there, it's a set of three, and I don't like the idea of that. So what I normally would do is I would go in, open up the second device, go take the single seat, then I go into the other device, take the pair, check out, Bob's your uncle, everyone is happy. Now though, I think Ticketmaster have realized that um, people just do whatever they want anyway. So they basically say, hey, we don't care anymore about this one seat remaining rule, we're gonna sell it to you. So as you can see, I just went in, added those two tickets to my cart, and they let me put it into my cart and just you know finish my checkout process. 
This doesn't make me very happy because this used to be a hack that I had to use all the time just to get the seats that I wanted. And now they just let you do whatever you want. Like, what is this? Huh? What? Ridiculous. But with that being said, with season seats, this is still a major issue, a major problem. If there are a set of three seats that you only want two of, you got to go through this method. It's the only way to unlock that set of three into a pair of two. Ticketmaster seems that they've uh, learned from their ways what people were doing and they've just basically bypassed the whole thing said hey go buy whatever you want we don't care we want your money your money is always welcome. So again just kind of try it out see on the different websites when you are buying sets of two or three seats see how it all works together. If you're buying them on resale marketplaces like StubHub and SeatGeek and things like that Unfortunately, it doesn't really work that way because again, those are resale seats. So they're only sold in those specific buckets that they allow. Uh, you can't go in and you know pick and choose the exact spots and breaking things up and whatever the case may be. So make sure you use the, the price filters there. But otherwise, if you're buying it direct from the box office, you should be able to go ahead, use this amazing hack, break up those sets of three into pairs of two. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming up every single week. And see you guys next time.